just looking for somewhere to pitch. Probably get pitched here, I think. Yes. Just don't want to go sleepwalking during the night. Snapped. Alright folks, I'm on a local wild camp. Well, it was going to be a wild camp, but disaster. See here is calm, but further down there I tried to get pitched and I didn't realise the pole had went down and I tightened all the guy lines. Then I tried to raise the pole up, boom, snapped. They're a bit lightweight these poles, but oh well. So it looks like I'm going to have to rough camp it or bivvy tonight. I think bivvy will be the option. So I'm actually on a castle ruin on the coast. I'll not give away the name or the location. But it's obviously well known if you you were to search for it. It might bring in dirty campers if I mention where I am. So I might have got away with pitching in there actually. It's quite uh, sheltered. There's not so much wind. Probably not so much in there. I was down in there I tried to get pitched and it was just too windy and because I'm not on a wee trek I've not got two poles with me, just the one I'm still not sure whether to get bivvied on the castle I'll try to find a wee space up here be a wee bit more sheltered, maybe down here actually Actually, I think I might just go here. The good thing about the bivvying is I can just move if it starts getting too windy. So I might still be able to get pitched actually, that's quite rigid. So after thinking I was going to cowboy camp it, I managed to sort it. It's The pole snapped but it manages to still to sit in no problem so it's quite um, secure. A wee bit of history for you for this castle. Um, we don't know when humans began to use this headland, but it seems certain there was like a simple fortress here as early as the Iron Age. So the first castle predates 1346, as we know this from historical records. It was occupied by English troops following the Battle of Neville Cross. So the castle was captured by Patrick Dunbar in 1410 and then passed into the hands of the Dunbars Borders rivals of the home family. In 1503, Margaret Tudor, daughter of the English King Henry VII, stayed overnight here on her way to Edinburgh for a marriage with James IV of Scotland. It was destroyed in 1515 during the ongoing struggles between the Stuarts and the Holmes, and it was rebuilt in 1521 only to be captured by the English in 1547 as part of Henry VIII's rough wing of Scotland. The Scots retook the castle once again and Mary Queen of Scots is known to have stayed here in 1566. Where did she not stay anyway, Mary Queen of Scots? Once again, the English captured this castle in 1570. I think 1609 it fell into disrepair. I read that online. But I do like Scottish history. It's something we'd have never got taught in school. It was always like a Bismarck, World War One, World War Two, but we never ever had Scottish history. Well, I never had any. Anyway, I never learnt about Scottish history until university. So I'm quite surprised that the pole is holding quite well. And it's turned out to be an alright pitch. I'm on a slight slope, but it's not too bad. I've actually had worse. Not actually quite comfortable. For a change. A wee bit of night time reading as well. I've only got my summer sleeping bag, so if I'd maybe have my out kit fairly then I could have just roughed camped it because it might have been a wee bit chilly and all the beasties and that, eh? But nothing beats a tent, eh? Can. I like to get pitched and that. Feel more comfortable. I think right out in the castle that was just a bit too windy like so here is actually 
I'm at the side of a rock on the edge of the cliff as well, so it's a no bad wee pitch, no bad. So tonight I just actually had my tea and then left the house about 8 o'clock, just drove 15 minutes up the road and that was me, just 10, 20 minute walk down to the castle head. Tomorrow morning I'll just pack up and go head down the road, walk the dogs and then get breakfast. So I'll see you in the morning, hopefully it'll be a nice sunrise. Current scenes this morning at quarter past four. I don't wonder too far down. I guess that this castle would be more popular if it was more of a castle on the cliff top. Like where is it, um, Dunnetter Castle up in Aberdeenshire? I'm quite glad I never cowboy camped last night because um, I was pretty cold and my summer sleeping bag just doesn't cut it. I'm used to the pipe dream. It was very chilly. I had to put the jacket on during the night. So if I'd been out in the open, I would have been pretty cold. Pretty cold indeed. It was a nice sunrise. Very nice indeed. That's the first night in quite a long time that I've had to get out of the tent for a pee, eh? Normally I've got a piss bottle or a piss in my pot. So as you can see there is where I was pitched. Not too bad actually. I wonder how old that fence and chain is. But it's still done its job even though it's snapped and goofed. Just shows you. Try to get the hour hour in the tent. Never fell asleep though. Don't know what I like bang the door at the crack of dawn. Wake up Bianca and the dogs. So we'll get back for Severus just when she's getting up for work. It's been a nice wee night away. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.